We're celebrating Mother's Day all month long with a full month of mother-daughter workouts. This episode of Class Fit Sugar is presented by Kalia by Carrie Underwood. Grab a pair of light to medium sized free weights and get ready for this boot camp workout for all levels. Let's do it. All right, my friends, let's get started with a little bit of a butt kick. So if you're not jumping today, you're modifying with Heidi, okay? If not, you're following Savannah and I with the full out version of these moves. Remember, this is all levels, so you can still get after it. And you're gonna notice that Heidi is not gonna go on her heels. She's gonna be on the balls of her feet the entire time because I still want her activating the lower legs and getting her body warmed up. Now we're gonna go into a nice little quad stretch here. So now that dynamic move got your blood flowing. Now we're gonna pull that heel up to the glute, give it a little one-two count, and then switch sides. So we're alternating with a little active release stretch here. You guys really feel that? Yeah. In the front of your legs, you're opening up the hip flexors and the quads. You know, I know that boot camp can be intimidating sometimes, but this is for all levels that you guys can do. So in this Get Strong with Mom series, we've got a version for everybody, okay? So don't be intimidated today, we got you covered. Now we're gonna go into a little skip. So if you're not jumping, remember you're marching and you're not putting those heels down on the floor, right? Awesome, good. <laughs> good, me and Savannah, we're gonna yeah. get here with a nice little skip. Remember to use your arms, remember to breathe, right? So you gotta keep that breath flowing. Get off the ball of the foot here, add a little bit of a drive. Notice that our toe is pointing up towards the sky. We're trying to activate the shin, okay? So flex that foot. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna do a dynamic stretch for the back of the body with a nice little hip stretch. Nice little Ooh. knee tuck. Good, one, two. I always like to give it a little one, two count. One, two, so that you're not going too fast through these active release stretches. You're giving yourself a little time to feel it. Good. It throws your balance off a little bit, maybe, yeah. no? <laughs> Sometimes it's when I'm like, wait, what happened? Okay, now, we're gonna move into a gate swing and alternating lunge. So gate swing, you want your feet wide. You're gonna go into a squat, come up, clap. If you're adding the jump with us, you're gonna go down and up, right? So you're adding that nice little gate swing and then coming up. If you're not doing the clap, that's okay. I'm just getting you warmed up for that. <laughs> Move later, you're doing great. Get that nice stretch through the groin, feel that. Two, let's go one more, one, awesome. Now, I want you to have your feet together for this one. You're not gonna take a big step, not even further than your mat, and you're gonna sit your hips back into a lateral lunge, feeling a stretch to that inner thigh. Come together and switch. So not a big step, right? Small. Really feel that stretch through that inner thigh. So sit your hips back so the weight's on your heel, your chest is facing us. You guys feel that? Mm -hmm. Ooh, don't step as wide, Savannah, because I want you to keep your knee and your hip in alignment so that you really just feel the stretch and you don't put too much pressure on your knees. Good. Last one, stretch. Woo! Good, and relax. Now, we're going jumping jacks, okay? So you're here, or you're going all out. Nice, Savannah's on it. <laughs> Good, Heidi, how you feeling? Great. Awesome, we got mom back there. She is ready to crush it. She's a marathoner. She's no joke. We're just showing you the modifications today. So stick with her. Three, two, one. Now go feet wide and give me a nice big side bend here. Open up the obliques, the back of the arms. Don't you love this kind of stress? Feels you know, this great. is something I do in the morning all the time. Reach it up, big stretch. Remember, you're trying to reach towards the sky. You're not trying to reach towards the wall. You're trying to reach towards the ceiling here, okay? So really lengthen your body. Oh yeah. Good, last one. Good, and then big shoulder circles. This is where we get to feel Ooh. the snap, crackle, and pop. What happens in the <laughs> shoulders, right? Go the other direction. Big shoulder circle, we're warming up. We're trying to get some fluid flowing through those shoulders so that you don't get injured when you start going into shoulder exercises, right? 
get them moving, and then clasp the hands behind the body and just roll the shoulders open. And get an active release stretch here for the chest. Good, good. I love the mother-daughter combos. You guys are a little power team back here. Yeah. Good, open up, breathe, and relax. Okay, we're gonna go into our first circuit. You ladies ready? ready. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Now, this first move is a burpee modified mm, with a rotation. So, I need you guys to really start to think about what level's best for you so you don't hurt yourself and you stay safe. So make sure you keep your eye on Heidi. We're gonna start first with a burpee and rotate. So watch what we do. Go down, all right, you're stepping back. This is modified. Drop to your knees and drop to your elbows. You're in that plank, but Savannah and I are gonna add a rotation. If not, you're holding that plank, just like Heidi. Now you're gonna come back up onto your hands. Good, you're gonna step in and reach. Okay, now we're gonna go back into that. We're gonna add a little tempo to it. If you're modifying, follow Heidi. You're not gonna go as fast as us. Holding that plank, coming up. Now if you want, you can add a little jump in and out, right? So. Depending on your level of fitness, do what feels good for you. This movement is working the whole body. Yeah. Nice job, Savannah. Coming up, you can jump in and out. Nice. Good. Making sure to come up. You're working the shoulders. You're working the obliques. Working the legs. Nice. Woo. Good. Jumping in and relax. Awesome job. Okay. Now we're going to grab our weights both of them, and we're gonna do a little single-legged touch overhead press. We all have different size weights, so whatever you have works for us, okay? One foot, you're gonna balance, or kickstand your foot, you're gonna bend the knee, bend the hip, reach towards the floor, flat back, come all the way up, and press overhead. Heidi's got a kickstand there for her balance, all right? If you're going with a challenge, you might go with one foot off the ground the whole entire time. This is not easy. Go at your own pace. Sink into it with your hip. Savannah, how you doing? Good. Good, feeling all right? Mm -hmm. I know this is challenging for a lot of things, so do what you can. We're gonna go up and we're gonna switch legs. Press, get that last press. Nice job, Heidi, good, and switch. So let's go balance. This is my bad side. This is the side that's not as balanced and strong, so I gotta really focus. Good, really sink into the butt. So all the weights on the heel, all the weights in that butt. As you come up, that's your powerhouse. Sink down, come up, press. Nice work, awesome job. Whoa, up, one more press and relax, beautiful Ooh. job. Now, our third move is gonna be a slow motion skater plyo. So, ladies, let's start from one end of our mat. Now, everybody out there, you're gonna take a step out, slow-mo down into a skater. Step out, slow-mo down. Now, notice, you're gonna step and you're gonna sink, right? So that you're not falling over here and you're not falling over here. What, you're really sinking, getting this glute, working that hip. If you wanna advance it, you can add a hop sink. You can add a hop sink, all right? But otherwise, I want you stepping and sinking, nice and slow. Step, Ooh, I feel sink, it. good. You guys look awesome, couple more. Back and forth and relax, shake it out. You ladies okay? Yeah. yeah. All right, back into the burpee. One more round, okay? You sticking with us? Let's start. Now that you got the rhythm, we're going down and up at your own pace. Down, jump it out or step it out. Drop to the elbows. Rotate left and right. Good. Come back to the hands. In that push-up position, jump in or step in. Reach to the sky. And repeat. Let's go. Go at your own tempo. Remember, it's totally up to you how quickly you wanna go. Be safe, keep your breath flowing, Woo! and enjoy, right? 
You guys are working your body. You're getting stronger. Looking at this mother-daughter, staying healthy for a long life. Generations and generations. One more. Looking good. Keep that breath flowing, ladies. You're looking awesome. This is a tough one, right? Yeah. Not easy. And come up, nice. Okay, grab your weights. Awesome job. We to show them what's up over there. Heidi! Okay, grab your weights, go and press. Right, so one foot, sink down. Go towards the floor. You don't have to go all the way to the floor. Go as far as you can, keeping a flat back. None of this, none of this. Look at a mirror. You have to look at what you look like when you're exercising. So get a mirror, put it right in front of you. Keep yourself on track. Keep your body safe. Even going over, you know, past that knee is good. All right, so even if you can go to that knee, that's awesome. You're working on balance and stability and strength. Go one more press and then switch. Woo, I love that one. This works so many muscles in the legs, ladies. This is so good for runners, Heidi. Whoa, see, your side, that's more balance. It's always gonna be more challenge, but that's so good to bring that balance into your body, right, ladies? Yeah. Yes. You don't just wanna work your strong side. <laughs> good. Breathe in. Ah, good, let's get one more on this side. Oh, gosh, I love it. Nice work, okay. Slow-mo skaters, let's do it. All right, so keep in that form. Start towards the side of your mat, so you're not going too far. You're gonna step and sink. Step and sink, if you're adding the hop, you're landing soft and slow. Soft and slow. Right, so I'm not falling outside. I'm falling to the inside. Always keep your weight inside. Side to side, back and forth. You're looking good. Two more, one more. Ah! <laughs> And relax, I felt way too the inside. Woo. High fives, high five. Nice work. Get a sip of water. Good job, Sam. We're going on and on and on. I love it. Generations to come. Make sure you grab your mom. Get her out. Get her working, right? Inspire the people that you love in your life. We want them to live long and healthy. Okay, now, this next one, I got you prepped already. The squat jack and the plank jack combo. So start here, watch Heidi for the modification. She's gonna go down and up, down and up. We're gonna add the hop to modify, I mean to advance it, right? Two more, good. Now go down, walk your feet out. You're either gonna step out side to side like Heidi or like Savannah. Yeah. You're jumping, oh yeah. Good, now walk your feet in. Remember, they should be wide, not narrow. And go down for that squat and jack. This is how I'm gonna train you to keep a wide base of support for your back so that you're not keeping your feet narrow on those burpees. Woo, one more. Good, now go down, walk your feet out, and plank jack. Or you're stepping side to side. Nice job. I love it. And walk your feet in. They're wide, one more set. Up and out. Good. <laughs> I know, I'm like dying here. It's like a win. How you doing back there, Savannah? Good. <laughs> Let's go down, walk it out. Let's go five more. Five, four, Ooh, three, I feel it. two, one. Walk it in. Woo! Okay, now abs and arms. We're gonna drop it down to the mat here. Push up and scissor kick crunch. This one's crazy madness. Watch Heidi for the modified push up. She's gonna go down, up, knee to elbow, back, knee to elbow, back. That's your move if you're modifying. Otherwise, your push up, you're gonna kick, under, kick, under, push up. Good, kick, under. I know this is hard. So if you have to modify the push-up, you can even bring your knee to your elbow under your body or extend the leg all the way. <laughs> it's up to you. 
my little mama bod needs to modify as well here in these last couple weeks. So I got it and relax. All right, so do what you gotta do for you. Now grab one of your weights and this one's gonna kind of really keep working the chest and shoulders. So grab one weight, lean back, keep your heels on the ground, open the chest and switch weights. Open, good, Savannah's got her feet off the ground, which is extra work on your core, right? So you're feeling it, you're like, oh, you're fighting gravity here. This is a really good challenge, nice job. Notice how these ladies are bringing their hands almost all the way to the floor. That is really hard to do. So if you gotta bend your elbow, that's okay. If you have a weight, or I love taking a medicine ball and tossing it side to side, working my basketball skills, you know? Good ladies, you feeling all right? Yeah. Good, keep it going. Couple more seconds. You're really gonna feel it through your biceps, your shoulder, your chest, your abs. Three, whew, two, whew, and one. Awesome, okay, so back up on your feet. Take a deep breath in. When I've ever, I've ever taught boot camp back in the day when I had such a crew, I remember going right into one exercise after another, but the good thing is we'd always switch it up. We change up the modality, the tempo. So you might be finding that one exercise is really real cardio intensive, but another one is not as bad. Let's jump out, feet out, plank jack. This one's very cardio intensive, right? Yeah. But don't yeah. worry. Our next move is not as intense. Jump in. And jack, here we go, jack squat. You're doing great. In and out. Keep breathing. Good, I hear good breathing going on back there. I love it. And out, let's go, jack. Last one. Jump it out. Breathe. And bring it in. Boom, awesome. Push up, this is a crunch. Let's do it. So coming back into that push up position. You guys all right? Yeah. yeah. I, think I just need to Put a breathe a little bit. Things. I need to let mom and daughter lead the way here. Okay, you guys start teaching. So let's go into that push up. Here we go. Push up, you're gonna scissor kick or go knee to elbow, right? Knee to elbow as well. Or you can modify that push up, whatever you gotta do, all right, for your body. For me, I know the scissor kick is getting really tough in there, so I gotta keep it on the DL right here. Back and forth, beautiful, doing good. Five more seconds, ladies, you're looking great. Good job, Savannah. And last one, good, breathe. And now sitting on the booty, grab your weight. Remember, if you only have a water bottle, that's gonna do the trick. All right, grab your water bottle. Grab something with some resistance. Lean back, that's where you're feeling the core. That's where you feel your body working. Use gravity. Remember, when I keep my shoulders square to you, that's when I'm really working on the stability of my obliques my abdominals, so don't allow yourself to rotate here. This is not a rotational, it's a stability exercise for your core. Your arm is doing the extension, but your core stays straight. 10 more seconds, breathe it out. And relax, okay, we got our round three. <laughs> Grab a sip of water, guys. How are my ladies doing? I'm doing good. Good. I'm good. Savannah, are you surviving? Yes. <laughs> She's surviving. Is it fun to work out with your mom? Yeah. Aw. You do so it every sweet. week. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, guys, we're gonna go into a couple floor exercises first. Not so cardio intensive, right? We're gonna start with an overhead reach and crunch. So if you have a heavier weight here, you'll feel it more in the arms. If you have a lighter weight, you're gonna feel it more in your core, all right? So go with what you've got. You're gonna feel it so fast, so don't you worry about it. Now, we're gonna start laying flat on our back. When our arms go overhead, that's when we're working our triceps, our lats, our back. You wanna feel it through your arms here, okay? 
Really important, now you're gonna raise that weight up over your body, just lift your shoulders and pull your knee in. Bring the weight to the outside of the knee and then all the way back, gently. Now don't touch that weight to the floor. Switch sides, roll up. Yes, and squeeze those abs and down. Now if you wanna advance it, you can go straight leg. So lift, straight leg, and then lower down slow. Do not let that weight touch the floor over your head now because you're using that resistance to work your triceps and your lats. So go up, squeeze those abs, and all the way down. Let your head rest at the bottom, but not your weight. Good, lift, good, and slowly release. You're doing this slow because I want you to have control. I want you to really feel that movement through your upper body and through your core. Lift, squeeze, and lower down. Good, exhale on the lift. Shh. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the lift. Shh. Inhale on the way down. One more, let's go up. Shh. Let's get one on the other side as well to keep, keep that symmetry going. My arms are starting to burn with this eight pounds, that's it. Good, and then relax. All right, now we're gonna stay on the floor here and we're gonna bring ourselves into a bridge and reach, a reverse bridge. So watch Heidi, she's gonna start on her back. She's just gonna go up for the bridge, okay? We're gonna come up and we're gonna lift. Maybe you might be here. So you're opening up your shoulders now, working a little tricep, or you're gonna add a little bit of movement reaching up over the top of the body and alternating sides. So you got three different versions. And when Heidi's ready, she can come up to her hand and do that second version if she's ready, if she wants to. Oh, she wants to. She's ready. Nice job, Heidi. You can't hold that mama back, right? She's strong, keeping her body healthy for her family. Going up. Nice job, guys. Keep it going. Couple more seconds here. Really working on shoulder stability, opening up the shoulders, working the glutes. So really press through those heels as you lift those hips and relax. Oh. All right, awesome. Now, this third move in this circuit is for the legs, shoulders, and core. I love compounding moves, especially in boot camp style workouts. So we're gonna start on both feet, grab one weight with both hands. You're gonna take a reverse lunge. You don't have to go super low, but you're gonna bring that weight across the body in a little figure eight movement. Switch sides, other leg. Now notice how I'm going down as if I'm rowing a kayak. I'm going digging into that water, bringing it out and around. So I'm working on my core strength, my balance, my hips, my glutes, my quads, everything. Working side to side. What do you find hard about this move, ladies? Anything? Ooh, balance. My shoes untied. <laughs> balance, shoes untied. We're gonna have to stop and tie that shoe. We gotta be safe, right? Nice work. Last one. Beautiful. And now, Heidi, tie your shoe before you get hurt over there. Bring it back down to your mat, and we're gonna go back into the overhead reach, right? So we're going round two. We wanna bring ourselves into that line position. Weight is all the way up overhead. Lengthen out those arms. Reach it up. Bring the leg up straight or bent, and reach those shoulder blades off the floor. You're doing a little pause here. Crunch, and then slowly lowering. Keeping the breath flowing. Now remember, I always like to emphasize the breath because what that does, it activates your core even more. So if you like a shh, you're telling your next door neighbor to shush it up so that you and your baby can sleep, then you have to do that breath. Go shh, right? All the way up, lower it down. Beautiful. Couple more seconds. Nice work. Shh. Last one, go all the way up. Squeeze, shh, nice job, and relax. All right, now set that weight down. Reverse bridge, you find where you feel comfortable. You can go just regular bridge, you can go into the nice reverse bridge here, or you can go all the way with the reach over the top of the body. You pick your poison, because that poison is actually gonna make you incredible. Good, up and over, nice job. Breathe, exhale as you reach up over. Exhale, shh, remember that if that forced exhale is so important. You wanna know that it does have a lot to do with air and the, the amount of, you know, just simply getting more out of your lungs. Shh. So when you do that, you get more back in and you are fired up and ready to crush it. A Couple more seconds, 
You ladies okay? Yeah. <laughs> They're not big talkers, but you know what? They're hard workers, and I can appreciate that. Most of you guys aren't talking to me at home either, or you're talking not in my language. Like, not the good stuff, right? But at the end, you love me. Okay, coming on up to your feet. Let's go back into that third move. Reversing the lunge, going with that nice figure eight. Ready, weights up at the top. Let's go back, rotate, bring it around. Drop it. And now that weight, you might see my shoulders working because I've got to rotate that weight around and out. I'm not just wood chopping. Wood chopping is like this. It's here and here. I'm hardly doing anything for my core. I am making a circle with this weight, a circle, right? It's much harder. You're gonna feel your core work 100 times harder to stabilize you. So the heavier your weight, the harder it is. Go safely because you don't wanna strain. Breathing it, three, as I'm falling over, two, last one, one, and my shoulders are on fire. <sighs> Ladies, awesome. Get a sip of water. I want you to come back to the mat. We're gonna do a cool down. Ooh. The hardest part is over. Yeah. She's like, thank you, Anna. I'm ready for that. You guys, awesome job. Do not leave because I really need you to do these four stretches with me, okay? With us. Ooh. This is showing your body love. This is where the real love comes in, the recovery. So what you're gonna do first, lay on your back. You're gonna bring one ankle up over the knee. All right, you can hold that there if you feel it. Or you can bring that knee closer to your chest and loop your hands through the legs so that you can grab the back of the opposite thigh and hold yourself in this figure four stretch. This is getting the hip. Oh, I feel it. Oh, isn't that good? Oh. You need that too after those skaters and those lunges and those squats. This really opens it up so that later you don't have a tight low back. And your hips are really in control of a lot of that low back tightness. Go ahead and switch sides. So taking some deep breaths here. You know, if you're working out with your mom, which I hope you guys are during this whole entire month of Get Strong With Mom series. You ladies are awesome for coming in here. And you know, really inspiring those that you love, especially your moms and daughters, even grandmas. Showing them some simple things they can do to get stronger, feel good, good. And then let's bring both feet down to the floor. And what you can do is have your arms come out wide. You can keep your feet on the ground and rotate your knees over bringing yourself into a nice little trunk twist. If you want more stretch, you can bring your knees up higher, okay, and you can just shift them up. And what you're trying to do is keep your shoulders both on the floor as your knees rotate. If you can't do that, then just focus on breathing every time you exhale, allowing your shoulder to come closer down to the mat. Because when this pops up, that means you're really tight through the chest, through your obliques, through your low back and you're just working on releasing. Go ahead and switch. So bring one knee back at a time, all right? You can keep your feet on the floor and rotate or you can bring those knees up further if you need more of a stretch. Do you guys like this one? Yeah, yeah it feels great on my back. Me too. We did a lot of twisting today. So it's really important that, you know, when you're working those muscles, you give those muscles some love and you lengthen them and give them some new blood, some new oxygen so they can heal faster and be ready for tomorrow. What are you guys going to do tomorrow? Run. Ooh. I like Massage. that. Massage. Yeah. yeah. I like these ideas. This is good stuff. Good. Okay. Coming up to your knees. Nice job. Run, massage, it's good to mix it up. You know, that's what's really important to keep workouts fun. Yeah, so, you know, you're not always just hitting it hard, giving yourself variety. Now I want you to bring one foot up nice and high. You're gonna bring your hands to the inside of that foot. And then if you feel that stretch, just hold it there. If you want, shift your knee back a little bit and get an even deeper stretch through that hip flexor. So you're gonna feel it through the, the hamstrings here and glutes, but then also this back leg here getting a nice stretch, and just think about breathing. Letting yourself sink into this. Try not to be too fidgety. Try to really relax into this. Let your hips sink down. 
Maybe tighten up your abs a little bit. You're protecting your back that way. And then you're just gonna walk your hands back, shift so that your front leg goes straight and your toe points up towards the sky, and that you keep a nice flat back. So I want you to pop your chest forward a little bit here, reaching your chest forward, letting your heel lengthen, getting a nice stretch through that hamstring and that calf. If you can touch your toe, which I can barely do, that's great. But feel that nice long back. It's like when they tell you in yoga to do the down dog and to really stretch your back first before you go to the hamstring. So you lengthen that back and then let it sit into the hamstring. Good, and then bring that foot all the way back. One more side. Thanks for sticking with me. I love you. You're taking care of yourself. Drop it down. Shimmy that knee back a little bit. Let yourself sink into that stretch. Feel the hips open up. Are you guys tighter on one side here? Yeah, yeah this side. It's always like that. One side's always a little tighter than the other. But this feels nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you do this one a lot after you run? Yeah. It's runners. great runners. Runners got to do it, right? Otherwise, you'll be feeling like a little old lady. Yeah. And you're way too young to feel like a little old lady, right, Heidi? Absolutely. Yes, good. Let's walk it back. Let's straighten out that leg. Let's go with a nice chest up. Hips are sitting back. Toe is towards the sky. So you lengthen out that hamstring. Good. And reaching towards that toe with a nice straight back. Awesome. Good. And relax. Ladies, you did it! Awesome! Thank you! High five! High Thank five! You. Great job, Sal. Oh my gosh, that was a challenging one. I know it was, but you can find more of these Get Strong With Mom workouts on Class Fit Sugar. Join us next time. We'll see you guys soon.